you've seen Kong, and you've seen Godzilla. Now, in an epic production for money only, these two will face off, and only one will come out victorious. Join me to see who will win. Twenty twenty has been clean so far, with the new movie releases coming out this year like Mission Impossible 7 and Sherlock's Home 3, but the main movie we're going to be talking about today is Godzilla vs. Kong. So without further ado, let's hop in. To figure out who shall be the victor in this upcoming movie, we've got to take both opponents aside and look at their own advantages and disadvantages. Starting with Godzilla now. Oh boy. If you want to talk about a walking, indestructible monster with intelligence, you better put Godzilla on that list. Because this walking behemoth of a dinosaur, honestly, power-wise, makes Kong look like a chump. His power set is basically consisting of having a humongous tail and being able to shoot lasers out of his mouth. Not only that, but he can literally make himself into a bomb. I don't think you understand how crazy that is. Let me back up real quick. A bomb. A literal explosive. A literal explosive. Okay? It's really like he has no weakness, but I have not seen anybody besides the other monsters be able to do that. Or Kaiju, Kaijo, Kai, I don't know. Kai Bo, I don't know. Kaiyu, I don't know. I, I don't know what they're called. You've heard about Godzilla's power sets considering what they showed in the movies, and now we're going to go on to King, like King of the Apes, King Kong. King Kong was known for his classic grab a woman and climbing up tall buildings for no singular purpose. This is King Kong. I almost said Godzilla, this is King Kong. When we look at King Kong, all you really see is a giant ape, and you're right, honestly, but his fighting intelligence is what gets him through most of his fights. But it's really sad, really, because it's just a giant ape going against a bigger, even a bigger monster with a lot more tools at his disposal. So, a lot of people say, oh God, oh God. King Kong is gonna get destroyed. Oh, the Godzilla is gonna destroy him. But honestly, it really depends on the terrain because both have their advantages on terrain. If Godzilla is facing King Kong on, like in the trailer, the boat, Godzilla is gonna win because all Godzilla needs to do is bring him into the water. It's game over for King Kong. But if they're fighting in like a city or the jungle, King Kong has a better chance, especially with that weird axe thing that they want to bring in or whatever, with that he has a better chance at beating Godzilla with that. So really at the end of the day, we just gotta hope for the terrain in the battle set, as corny as that sounds, because we don't know right now when the movie comes out then we'll speculate but right now we have no idea what it's gonna be like godzilla is gonna win mainly because of his durability his power sets and i don't care what that axe does i do not believe king kong is going to be godzilla is just too powerful and honestly too strong so in the end godzilla wins a hey, the literal monster
I hit record it, Jap, you can't ignore it. I'm transforming now, these cars and planes, I'm always boarding.